Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Quick diary today from Tom about how to use Shodan's monitoring feature. Now, this is a four pay feature. I believe you have to be at least a member, which is pretty cheap, or then sign up for their more expensive uh, small business plans if you do want all the features of it. But even the basic features do essentially allow you to set up alerts whenever Shodan discovers a new system inside your network. As Tom points out, you can do the same thing with a simple Nmap scan from outside your network, but getting Shodan's view and getting the alerts may be a nice little addition to some regular external vulnerability scans. And then we got yet another way to identify smartphones, in particular iOS devices, before iOS 12.2. The trick here is that all of these devices do have uh, motion sensors or gyroscopes uh, that are accessible via JavaScript and uh, have a unique uh, bias as to how these sensors are oriented. By subtracting any motion that the device experiences at the time it's being used, when it's, for example, being carried in a bag, these researchers were able to then extract this essentially calibration data from the gyroscope and identify individual devices. Apple in iOS 12.2 started to add some random noise to the output in order to defeat this technique. And apparently uh, this technique may have been used in the wild out of Alexa's top 100,000 websites. About 2,600 did access motion sensor data. Not really clear, of course, if this was done in order to identify the devices. A lot of user trackers and tools like this will also just check if your gyroscope is accessible or not. And yes, of course, uh, this particular vulnerability would also affect you if you are using some kind of private browsing mode, because again, these sensors are typically still available via JavaScript. Also, there is no pop-up, there is no special permission required by JavaScript in order to access this gyroscope sensor. And remember how about a week ago I mentioned how the Alpine Linux Docker container shipped temporarily with a blank root password. In this case, actually the makers of this container had sort of thought about it and had some tests for it in the past, which uh, sadly had been removed. Well, uh, Jerry Gamblin of Kenna Security now took a closer look at the 1000 most popular Linux Docker containers and found that about 20% uh, of them were shipped without any root password. Some of them were actually sort of from security companies or at least with security intent, like for example, HashiCorp, also the UK government, the government pass Docker container did not include a root password. So did the containers by Microsoft, Monsanto, and also an OpenVPN Docker container. And Jerry Gamblin also does a pretty good job in sort of putting this vulnerability into perspective that just because a Docker container doesn't have a root password doesn't automatically mean it's sort of terribly exploitable. Even with Alpine, there were sort of some dependencies that were required in order to actually have a vulnerable Docker container. Then because there's still a lot of talk about Blue Keep, just a quick update on this RDP vulnerability. Nothing new as far as I can tell as far as 
any sort of more proof of concepts or actual exploits uh, go at this point. There is a Suricata signature that the NCC group published. So if you're using Suricata or Snort, you can take a look at this signature. But other than that, uh, keep on patching and definitely make sure that you enumerate all the RDP servers in your environment and try to disable most of them, even with this vulnerability patched, it's not a great idea to in to expose RDP to the public. Also, there are some rumors that there may be additional vulnerabilities in the RDP service that have not been made public or patched yet. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.